Today, we are reviewing the brand new Sony 4K HDR laser projectors. We've got the VPL XW 5000 ES and the VPL XW 7000 ES. We're going to show you a side by side review and comparison and say which one we think you should put into your home cinema room. Sony have very kindly brought these two projectors to our experience center today. So thank you very much to Sony UK for sorting that out. Some stats on these projectors. The 5000 ES is a 2000 lumen projector and it retails at 5999. And the 7000 is 3200 lumens and retails for 14999. There is one that sits in the middle, that's the 6000. At the moment, this isn't available in the UK. It's only been launched in Japan and in America. And we are appealing to Sony to please launch it over here because it's a fantastic midway point between these two projectors. The 5000 ES is the smaller of the two, 460 by 200 by 472, and it weighs approximately 13 kilograms. The 7000 ES is slightly bigger, by about 55 mil all round, and weighs 14 kilograms. But that is 20% smaller in volume than its predecessor, the 790 ES. A little bit about the actual physical attributes, they're both very nicely made. They're solid, they feel great. There's a small flap here at the top, which we'll come to in a minute, on the 5000 series that the 7000 doesn't have. As we mentioned, these are both native 4K HDR projectors. There's no pixel shifting or anything clever like that. So on each of these, you're gonna see roughly 8.3 million pixels on the screen at once. Sony has achieved this by updating its SXRD panels. The big difference between lamp and laser-based is the length of time they'll run for. So a lamp will last around about two to 3,000 hours. Laser-based is 20,000 hours. To put that in perspective, you'd be able to watch Groundhog Day every day for the next 23 years before you saw any degradation in the image. Well, it's Groundhog Day again. Both of these projectors feature the X1 Ultimate 4 Projector processor. This is the same processor that Sony uses in their flagship GTZ 380. That is an 80,000 pound projector plus lens. For the gamers out there, there's something you really need to know about these projectors. Both of them support 4K at 60 hertz and 2K at 120 hertz. What it probably means to a lot of you is that it does not support HDMI 2.1. These are HDMI 2.0b. So the beauty of having the 4K 60 hertz is that you've got then a lag of just 21 milliseconds, and at 2K 120 hertz, your lag is down to 13 milliseconds. You will still really enjoy gaming on these if you like gaming on something like a Sony Bravia. Yes, it is not a dedicated gaming monitor, but it's still very, very good. Personally, I can't tell a difference when I'm playing them, but maybe you can. Both of these projectors have a fantastic wide dynamic range. Coco in particular is a real stress test for these projectors because you've got very, very dark blacks all the way through to super high brightness. They're both really attractive looking units and the kind of thing you could actually imagine seeing inside your lounge. Now, we've been having a debate here about which Star Wars vehicle these look like. Drop us a comment below and tell us what you think. Big difference that you'll be able to see on both of these projectors is the lens. The 5000 has a 54 millimeter and the 7000 has a 70 millimeter ACF lens. ACF is the Advanced Crisp Focus and what that means is the image will stay sharp all the way to the very corners of the screen. In projectors it's not unusual to see them getting a little bit softer on the focus towards the edge. Let's get into one of the real big differences between these projectors and that is the 5000 ES's lack of motorized lens. This to us is a massive difference. When you're installing a projector, you always try and get it smack on in the middle of the screen, but that's just not always possible. So what you do, you'll lens shift the image either down or up, left or right, to get it exactly square. So on the 5000 ES, you have to do that by these dials that are under this cover. To most people, once that's in, it won't matter because it shouldn't move. But over time, all projectors will just settle a little bit. So every now and again, you might have to go and gently move them. Now moving them by hand, has got the potential to shift the whole position of the projector. Whereas the 7000 ES and most of their competitors have a motorized lens. You get the remote control out and you go up, down, left, right and shift it to wherever it needs to be. By removing it on the 5000, they've obviously done it to try and get the price point down. 
can't blame them for doing that. I do wonder how much one motor on that lens would have cost. As we said at the beginning, there is a third one. The 6000 ES projector sits in the middle of these two, but it gives, most importantly, motorized lens memory, which you are having a horizontal masking screen means it will adapt to the different sizes of screen. Come on, Sony, we want that projector. Can we recommend these projectors? Absolutely. These are two really nice bits of kit. The fact we've managed to get 4K, HDR and laser based down to the price point on the 5000 ES of £6,000 is amazing. Yes, it's not perfect. They've removed lens memory and it's a manual adjustment, but at that price point, you're willing to take it. If you can afford to step up to the 7000, and especially if you've got a motorized masking screen, or a very large screen that needs the extra light output, the 7000 is an incredible projector with fantastic colors and a real vibrant image. We use Sony projectors a lot in the cinemas that we build here at Juiced. And the reason is they are reliable. They work very well with the control systems such as Control 4 and Crestron Home. And when you turn them on, they will work every time. You've got great input on these. Yes, it's HDMI 2.0, not 2.1, but really, if you're gaming on a four meter wide projection screen, you're not gonna notice the difference in that gaming lag. Out of the two of them, if it was my credit card on the table, which would I buy? I'd go for the 5,000. And that's only because of the particular room that I've got. However, if I get an upgrade and go for motorized masking, the 7,000 all day long. Please drop a comment below and let us know what you think of these projectors. Follow Juice on all the usual social media channels. And again, a massive thanks to Sony who helped us out by bringing these up here today, but in no way have they influenced this review. It's been completely impartial. Thank you very much. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Have you talked over that then? I felt that was quite good, that was. Yeah, Follow Juice on all the social media channels to keep abreast of why, where is that coming from? Where is that even coming from? <laughs>